Laos, a modest nation surrounded by tourism powerhouses such as Thailand and Vietnam, is often overlooked and even mistaken for its next door neighbors. If you find yourself having the same idea about this sovereign nation, I can tell you for sure that you are completely wrong. Laos is a country full of mysteries and excitements. Imagine a place where ancient traditions blend seamlessly with breathtaking natural beauty, where time seems to slow down, and every corner hides a story waiting to be discovered. From the mysterious Plain of Jars to the serene Mekong River, Laos is brimming with fascinating secrets. In this video, we're going to uncover some shocking facts about Laos that will leave you amazed and eager to learn more. Whether it's the unique festivals, the stunning landscapes, or the surprising history, Laos has something extraordinary that you probably never knew. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be surprised by the wonders of this incredible country. Number one, Laotians are some of the shortest people in the world. Recent data indicates that Laotians are the second shortest people in the world, with an average height of approximately 155.89 centimeters, equivalent to roughly 5 feet 1.37 inches. That is a very small figure, right? However, do not be deceived by their stature. Even though Laosians tend to be shorter in stature, they are recognized for their generous nature and friendly demeanor. The locals are frequently praised by travelers for being extremely laid back and friendly, with many describing them as some of the most approachable people they have ever encountered. There is a popular joke among travelers that the abbreviation for Laos PDR, which means Laos People's Democratic Republic, really means Laos people don't rush. Yes, you heard correctly. If you're thinking of visiting Laos, be ready to embrace the leisurely lifestyle and peaceful atmosphere that define the country's way of living. Now, let's discuss language. Even though Lao is the main language in Laos, it might surprise you to learn that slightly more than half of the people speak it as their first language. Exactly! A variety of ethnic minority languages are used across the nation, contributing to its cultural diversity. Don't worry about communication, there's no need to fear. English and French are also used to a certain degree, assisting travelers in finding their way around more easily. Number 2. Laos is the most heavily bombed place in history. During the Vietnam War from 1964 to 1973, the United States conducted a covert and destructive bombing operation in Laos. In a nine-year period, this small Southeast Asian country was targeted with over two million tons of bombs. To give an idea of the scale, it surpasses the total amount of bombs dropped throughout World War II. This ongoing bombing operation was a component of the broader plan to interrupt the supply lines of the Ho Chi Minh Trail, which extended from Laos into Vietnam. Yet, the impacts of these bombings had devastating effects on Laos and its citizens. Picture this, 30% of those bombs did not explode upon impact, creating a dangerous legacy that continues to affect Laos today. These undiscovered explosives, frequently concealed underground, present an ongoing danger to the safety of the people of Laos. It is believed that more than 20,000 individuals have been either killed or injured by these undetonated bombs after the war ended. Not to forget the many families whose lives have been permanently changed by these tragic incidents. Presently, groups such as UXO Laos are dedicated to removing these undetonated bombs to ensure the safety of upcoming generations on the land. However, the challenge is overwhelming as there are approximately 80 million unexploded bombs spread across the terrain. It is devastating to consider that children, who are unaware of the threat, could confuse these bombs as toys and accidentally cause a disaster. Number three, the world's first consumer of sticky rice. Imagine this scenario. You find yourself in Laos, encircled by happy expressions and the scent of just cooked rice drifting around you. But here's the catch. It's not your ordinary rice, it's sticky rice, and Laotians are completely obsessed with it. Were you aware that Laos is known as the top consumer of sticky rice worldwide? Yes, you heard correctly. Each individual consumes around 345 pounds, 156 kliris, of candy annually on average. You weigh less than that amount of rice. They also go by the nickname Luk Kao Niao, which means children of sticky rice. It's more than just a basic food. It's deeply embedded in their culture and sense of self. Now let's go back in time, approximately 4,000 years. Sticky rice has been a fundamental aspect of Southeast Asian cuisine for centuries. 
Although many other nations transitioned to cultivating non-sticky white rice many years ago, Laos maintained its traditional practices. They kept growing the sticky type, and man, we're happy they chose to. You may be curious about what sets sticky rice apart. Besides being incredibly filling, it also has a delightful, chewy texture and delicious flavor. Contrary to white rice, sticky rice has a slower digestion process, resulting in prolonged satiety. In Laos, sticky rice is not just a mere side dish, it plays the lead role. Laotians are skilled at using this adaptable grain to create delicious main dishes and desserts. And we must remember the religious rituals, where special sticky rice meals are the main attraction, representing togetherness and plenty. Also, an interesting tidbit is that raw sticky rice grains are frequently thrown into the air as a representation of wealth and good fortune during ceremonies. That is what I would refer to as a rice shower. Number four, Laotians. Drink coffee in a plastic bag. You may be questioning why someone would serve coffee in a plastic bag. I have to share that in Laos, tradition and convenience are paramount. Before we delve into the plastic bag trend, let's first discuss the main attraction, Lao coffee. It's a well-kept secret, not as well-known globally as it should be. Consider it as the coffee version of Sri Lanka's tea. Laos's primary agricultural product for export is coffee, which is cultivated on the fertile Bolivan Plateau. Due to its cool temperatures and abundant rainfall, this area offers ideal conditions for growing coffee. We owe the introduction of coffee to Laos centuries ago to the French colonists. They didn't just bring the beans, but also introduced advanced farming techniques that are still in use by agricultural families today. By the way, were you aware that the majority of families residing on the plateau are engaged in the cultivation of coffee? Together, they produce an incredible 15 to 20,000 tons of coffee annually. Now, this is where it starts to get exciting. While Arabica coffee is predominantly enjoyed domestically, the majority of Robusta coffee is sent to Thailand for exportation. However, let's go back to that plastic bag. Imagine a scenario where you have a cool glass of iced coffee covered with a big scoop of condensed milk presented in a plastic bag along with ice and a straw. While it may not be the eco-friendliest choice, it sure is delicious. And please ensure that you properly discard the plastic, all right? Number five, a unique underground boat trip. Imagine this, you are smoothly moving through a mysterious subterranean realm encircled by immense limestone walls that have endured through the ages. Located in the peaceful Kamuain province of Laos, Kong Lor Cave holds a magical allure. Upon entering your boat and embarking on the Nam Hin Bun River, you are instantly whisked away into a world of astonishment and admiration. The immense splendor of the cave is so impressive that it can leave you speechless. Did I forget to mention that the journey covers an impressive seven kilometers? Within, the dimness is penetrated by the gentle illumination of your torch, uncovering secret gems around every corner. Be on the lookout for the sparkling green pools inside the cave, as they cast a magical color on the nearby rock formations. However, what truly sets this underground adventure apart are the stunning karst formations that embellish the walls of the cave. These impressive formations, considered a geological marvel of Southeast Asia, were shaped over countless years by the gentle action of water. Believe me, they live up to expectations. As we make our way through cramped pathways and twisting waterways, it's inevitable to feel a sense of amazement and thrill. Every curve and bend unveils a fresh sight, igniting your curiosity to uncover what awaits nearby. Number six, Cone Falls, the world's widest waterfall. Cone Falls is no ordinary waterfall. Uh oh, it's a massive natural phenomenon, extending an impressive 10 kilometers over the Mekong River in southern Laos. Can you believe it? It resembles a magnificent artwork created by nature, etched into the very essence of this stunning terrain. Imagine this, when the monsoon arrives, the Mekong River overflows and Cone Falls becomes a thundering giant. The water breaks and swirls, forming a captivating show of sheer strength. It's truly a mesmerizing view, people. During the river's highest point, Coney Falls is engulfed by the powerful waters, giving the impression that the waterfall has mysteriously disappeared. Discuss the mesmerizing wonders of nature. You may be asking yourself, what is the reason for Cone Falls being so broad? My friends, the main focus is on the study of geology. The Mekong River travels through a succession of steep and rocky pathways, 
and as it approaches Cone Falls, it navigates a wide expanse of granite terrain. This special blend results in an ideal formula for a grand waterfall spectacle. Cone Falls is more than just a beautiful site. It also houses a wide variety of living organisms within its ecosystem. This waterfall is a sanctuary for a variety of wildlife, from vibrant fish to unique bird species. And we must also remember the local communities who depend on the Mekong River for their way of life. Coney Falls is more than just a tourist attraction. It is a vital resource for numerous people. Number 7. The Land of a Million Elephants In the past, Laos was famously called Lang Shang, meaning the Land of a Million Elephants. It's a name that signifies the deep bond between this Southeast Asian country and its magnificent elephants. In Laos, elephants are not merely animals. They are regarded as cultural symbols. They represent power, knowledge, and success, deeply rooted in the history and culture of Laos. From ancient times until now, these large and kind creatures have been essential in ceremonies, travel, and work. Imagine magnificent parades featuring elaborately decorated elephants parading with pride through the streets, representing the nation's cultural legacy and customs. It is truly a remarkable sight to see. However, it is not only elephants that contribute to Laos's uniqueness. The nation is proud of its amazing variety of plant and animal life, including endangered species such as tigers, Asian elephants, and gibbons. Nevertheless, this abundant natural resource is in danger. Deforestation and illegal wildlife trade present major obstacles for the ecosystems in Laos. This is the reason why conservation efforts are extremely important now. Groups and local areas are putting in a lot of effort to safeguard these valuable animals and the places where they live, guaranteeing a sustainable future for future generations. Number 8. Home to the Plain of Jars The Plain of Jars resembles a scene from a fantasy book, with numerous ancient stone jars spread across a large landscape. What is the tale behind these enigmatic artifacts? Currently, Laos is a lovely nation located in Southeast Asia, celebrated for its breathtaking scenery and diverse cultural background. However, the Plain of Jars in Sheng Kuang province holds one of its most fascinating mysteries. The stone jars are huge, with some reaching the height of a person, and they are spread out all over the plains as far as one can see. However, the twist is that we're not completely certain as to why they are present or who placed them there. What's up with these jars? For years, archaeologists have been puzzled by that question. Certain theories propose that they were utilized for ancient burial customs, or even as components of ceremonial rituals. However, recent archaeological findings indicate that the Plain of Jars could be significantly older than initially believed, with origins dating back more than 2,000 years. Picture this. In ancient times, Individuals were sculpting these enormous stone containers without clear reasons behind their actions. It feels as though you are transported to the past and solving a mystery just like in a thrilling film. Now, this is where I'm chiming in with my two cents. Visiting sites such as the Plain of Jars goes beyond admiring old relics. It involves forming a connection with our common human past. It involves envisioning the experiences of those who preceded us and the narratives they conveyed. If you ever end up in Laos, be sure to include the Plain of Jars in your travel plans. Who can say? You could potentially discover a hint that aids in finally solving this age-old mystery. Number 9. Zero Ocean, but thousands of islands. Although Laos lacks a coastline, a hidden gem called Si Phan Don, also known as the Four Thousand Islands, can be found in the southern part of the country, nestled in Southeast Asia. If you're wondering about islands in Laos, it's a common reaction. Believe me, it's completely authentic. What is the secret behind this captivating display? In the end, everything comes back to the powerful Mekong River. Extending across 4,350 kilometers, this river is not only a means of transportation, but also a vital resource that shapes the terrain of Laos in multiple ways. Flowing southward, the Mekong comes across an impressive landscape, a maze of small islands scattered along its route. These islands are not ordinary. They are filled with natural wonders, each having its own unique story to share. Stretching from sandy beaches to blue waters, the 4,000 islands provide a tropical oasis deep within Laos. 
It's similar to discovering a hidden paradise, distant from the busy urban lifestyle. Now, you may be asking yourself, is it possible for me to visit these islands? Definitely. Although some are deserted, numerous places greet visitors warmly. Picture yourself paddling through transparent waters, biking on peaceful trails, or relaxing on the shore with a cool coconut beverage. Doesn't it seem like paradise? But the beauty of the 4,000 islands goes beyond just surface level. It serves as a reflection of nature's limitless ingenuity and strength. Discovering these islands goes beyond relaxation. It involves engaging with the land and being amazed by its beauty. Number 10. Home to possibly the cheapest alcohol in the world. Picture this. You stroll into any corner store, mom and pop shop, or market across Laos. And what do you find? Lao Lao, my friends. This potent rice whiskey has gained quite the reputation, and for good reason. It's not just any ordinary liquor, oh no. It's famously known for its jaw-dropping price tag, selling for less than a dollar per liter. Can you believe it? Now, before you rush off to book your tickets to Laos, let me drop a truth bomb. As they say, every rose has its thorns, and Lao Lao is no exception. Sure, it's cheap, but there's a catch. And trust me, it's a big one. First things first, let's talk taste. Imagine downing a bottle of methylated spirits. Yep, that's the kind of kick you'll get from Lao Lao. It's not exactly what you'd call smooth or refined. But hey, who needs smooth when you're paying less than a dollar, right? Remember how they say, drink responsibly? Well, with Lao Lao, that's not just a suggestion. It's a necessity. You see, this budget-friendly booze has been known to cause some serious side effects. And no, I'm not just talking about a nasty hangover. In very rare cases, Lao Lao has been linked to blindness. Yeah, you heard me right, blindness. Now, I'm not trying to scare you off, but it's important to know what you're getting into. After all, a night of fun shouldn't come at the cost of your health. So there you have it, folks, the shocking truth about Laos and its claim to the cheapest alcohol in the world. It's a wild ride, no doubt about it. But hey, if you're feeling adventurous and want to try something truly unique, why not give Lao Lao a shot? Just remember to sip responsibly and maybe keep a bottle of water handy. Trust me, your future self will thank you. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Cheers.